What's up guys, welcome back to PC Outdoors and I'm gonna show y'all my Bass Pro Shop haul. So, um, don't mind the mess, I just got back. Um, I, I've only had enough time to rig up one of these, but Bass Pro put the line on it for me. Um, the Depth Master. 40 pound monofilament on there. Has the bait clicker. Ah, there it is. It clicks, obviously. But. Uh, then it goes down. It's an 8 foot 6 medium moderate. Uh, I've got 40 pound monofilament. It's this. Um, don't mind that, it's just a ball that I got. Um, I have it down to a Sandy Cooper rig. Uh, dot double action hook. Right here. Slightly offset, but not by much. Um, down to a egg float. To a, uh, where is it? Swip. To a swivel. To a three ounce no roll lead. So after that, oh, I'm gonna be making another video tomorrow. Tomorrow, if it doesn't uh, clip to this one, but I'm not sure. Sure, what I'm gonna do yet? So those were the combo. I think was ninety something, basically a hundred bucks a piece if you want the line. Um. So. Two ounce no roll leads right here. Uh, here's the plant pa pamphlet that it came with. Right here. Um, while, I'm, while I'm looking for this, don't forget like, subscribe, hit the <coughs> notification bell. I have the hiccups like always. Anytime I'm recording a video about my fishing rigs, hiccups. It's like a curse. Um, and I have these 120 pound swivels. Um, I have two packs of those. Uh, these are A dot circle hooks. Oh my gosh, I dropped every single one of them. There you go. Oh, that's perfect. Right there. Okay. Um, look, I'll show y'all. A dot circle hooks compared to a youngster's hand. These are sharp. I don't need to sharpen them. After a fish or two, I probably will. But um, the three ounce. No rolls. Those spilled out, so. The package was damaged, but it's the last package there. Um. Uh, there's other swivels over here. But. Uh. I have this bucket that I got here. Offshore angler. See inside all while keeping my bait in tomorrow. That's my mom talking to our cats. Okay, little kitties. Our cats are very talkative, aren't they? Yes. Um, and then I got this scale. No one, the old one broke. Uh, down on a fish flipper. Um, and then I guess I'll go ahead and rig up this rod too while y'all are here. Correct. I think there was a better way to do this. Um, right there, perfect. So I was trying to live stream this, but my YouTube's weird. I don't think I have the right phone for it. it kind of sucks. Uh,
But yeah, these are eight foot six medium moderate rods. Good enough. So, I'm trying not to hit the ceiling. Watch, I'm gonna put my cat. Boop. Okay. Sorry. Quick ADHD moment. No, ADD? ADHD? I don't know. Uh, they wriggle up really weird. Was that a bitch? Whenever I'm rigging these up, I always scissors. Scissors. Oh, I got these there too. Well, I didn't get them there. I found these at the river. I was gonna get me a fly rod, but I ended up spending too much money. So, not a big fan of fly fishing anyway. So. If I didn't already say, which I probably did, I just very forgetful. Um, this is 40 pound mana. I think I already showed it. So, y'all won't be able to see it all, but what I'm doing is I'm running it through the eyes. With these long rods, this is actually a, a rod meant for trolling. Uh, for, I think it's Mahi Mahi in the ocean, but people always, uh, I was told by three different employees to use it for catfishing, so. Um, tomorrow, I'm gonna try, uh, I'm gonna try probably goldfish and perch. Being honest, I probably won't catch much. But where I'm fishing, if I catch something, it's gonna be pretty decent sized. Dun 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 Comment down below what your biggest fish is and I'll heart it even though I heart comments anyways. Yeah, comment down below your biggest fish and I'll heart your comment. Uh, so. I'm gonna go grab the lake that I need. And I need my on a film. Okay. Oh, I already had some more food. And and They're all set, don't worry. Okay. Where did that go? Under? Okay. Y'all can see me good? a little bit okay so this is gonna be quick simple you just take it oh what happened making sure it's clear um I didn't grab any beads did I I usually grab beads because they help. I don't have any with me. It's okay. I just don't want to lose a flathead because of it, but I usually have beads. I don't know why I forgot to get them. So I tie a Palomar knot. I showed that in my last video. If you haven't watched it, I would do it. So I had a really fun time. I didn't record it. Um, mainly because I didn't feel like it. That sounds harsh, but it's true. Truth hurts. But 
uh, we, whenever I went down there, I was so stoked. I didn't even, I was probably going to record it. Part of it was I didn't want to. I just didn't feel like it. The other part of it was, uh, I was too stoked talking to people that I just didn't even think to. Like, it didn't even cross my... There we go. Power or not? Very strong knot. Very strong knot. Now, whenever it connects to the swivel up here, I'll show you up close in just a second. Paper scissors. I take the line and I put a little more tag end than I usually would. So, there's about that much tag end on the knot. On, I think these are 220 pound swivels. No, no real need to go this big. I just like to, to be on the safer side. Um, uh, whenever I tie, uh, Uh, whenever I tie leader line to swivel, I use improved clench knot. Oh my god, you can use like something like a tuna knot. There's a whole bunch of different knots you can use. I just prefer the improved clench. It's the easiest for me to do heavy line uh for the other catfish anglers i'm an angler period i just fish for everything anyone who's a carp fisherman take whatever they will get Um, I think I put it really on cold. You better double check your knots, guys. Because you can have a million pound line. It's not a thing, but if you had a million pound line, and you tied a bad knot, doesn't matter. However, a million pound line would be like this thick. So like, if you have, did I just mess that up? No, I didn't. Just tell me it's good. Okay, perfect. Now for that, I leave about that much tag end because this is really important. I'll actually cut a little bit off because it gets obnoxious. But not very much. Oh my god, I just knocked some. It's fine. Uh, take a peg float. I was just shortening up that leader super long. About two and a half foot a leader. I'll put it 
right here. And I still haven't tied my knot yet, so it's probably going to go down substantially. Probably two foot liter is what I'm going to have. This is an ADOT offset double action hook. If you look right there, it's slightly offset. I sharpen these with a regular old nail file. Probably not the best, but who cares. Sharp enough to stab through my skin with no pressure, so... Not stab like, through my skin, but like just poke, could do a good poke. Um, comment down below any tips. Uh, these I'm trying to catch my first flathead, if you didn't know already. Uh, that's my game plan is to catch my first flathead. That's the reason I'm picking up perch and goldfish. I usually cast net my own if you've been a fan of my channel for a while you've seen my videos of cast netting but if you haven't that's totally fine i would go watch them though i was told it was a pretty good video i watch it too i watch my own videos but i personally i like using palomar not when i can and if I can't, improved clinch. I don't have pliers with me at the moment, so bear with me. Okay. Um, now don't forget to subscribe like comment hit the notification bell uh it's getting obnoxious ass if y'all if y'all y'all probably think it's obnoxious it's critical to for me using youtube to for y'all to subscribe and like so uh here's what it is i would i usually like using a weight stop but it's whatever so beater weight so you take three ounce no roll or you can put a bank sinker on a lead slider and put bead right here i don't have a bead sorry my bad uh down palomar knot it's second strongest knot there is i don't know the first my grandpa told me gotta believe your grandpa right uh down to like a 220 pound swivel no need to go this big. I just do it for safety precautions. Improved clinch knot right here. Down. Peg float. You can slide it, but it takes effort. Um, and then down about five, six inches from it, I have the ADOT double action offset hook that I sharpened. But really all thank y'all for the support uh gonna try to hit probably a hundred hundred subscribers is my goal right now big goal i know but it's just something that i've been working towards and the more people contribute the more it helps me but thank y'all like subscribe comment hit the notification bells but no